between breaths. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, I am Alex if you don't know me and today I'm going to be decluttering my closet. <laughs> I'm getting rid of a lot of attachments, clothes that I haven't worn in years but I look at and I'm like hmm, I could probably wear this on a date. <laughs> could probably wear it out with my friends. I know there'd be a time on a spring eve I could wear this sweater that has, look at this for instance. I've had this sweater from Forever 21 for probably three years and it's cute, right? Like it's a cute mustardy look, but the only thing is on the sides here, there are big old slits on the side. And I suppose that when this was, you know, produced, this was the style, definitely. The last time I wore this was in college, which was <laughs> approximately 2018. 2018, wow. 2018 was three years ago. No, it wasn't. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of clothes, a lot of things that I've worn before and I attach to previous experiences. Like this. The last time I wore this was to a funeral. Plus, it's a small. So this is going to a donation pile slash giveaway pile because it's just like not in the color scheme that I wear anymore. All right, so next up is LBD, if you will. Have never worn this in my life. So we're gonna fast forward through this part and move on to the next day because I got very tired and took a nap. The next day. I needed to rest yesterday. I was feeling really, really tired just getting rid of all these clothes and putting them in boxes and organizing things. Please bear with me with this cutness. Of the change. So continuing on, you know what? This shirt was actually handmade by my sister. I don't think I could ever get rid of it. I have not worn in years. I got it from Charlotte Roos. Remember Charlotte Roos? <sighs> Those are the days. It's from the kids section of Forever 21. I'm gonna have a lot of hangers left over. Remember this look? Ugh, this was such a look. The greatest thing since sliced bread. This doesn't suit me anymore. So into the pile it goes. You know what, you guys? I also need to just start getting things that are more in my style, especially like from the thrift store. Over the years, my style has changed so much. Now I just like a more subdued, almost tomboy kind of style. Like this has not seen the light of day since I was a senior in high school. closet why do I have a battery in my closet like I think this is an actual car battery <laughs> how would I even dispose of this this is one of my very first paintings it was supposed to be of Mars and I still love it so I might just hang it up because I do love it like it, again, it was one of my very first paintings. It's still good, it just has a little bit of a dent. We have seriously downsized. That's pretty much all I wear. I think for right now, I'm gonna put like my sandals on this top shelf because I have this whole shelving unit here and then a whole other <laughs> side of the closet that's now completely empty, but that's fine. I feel like emptiness leads to godliness. <laughs> so I feel like with my foot being broken right now, I don't really wear a lot of shoes. I mainly wear socks and slippers and things of that nature. I like put all my sneakers on this bottom shelf here. I can't believe that this literally took two days. There's one thing that I can say about having a clean looking closet. It's to get matching hangers. 
I ordered these off Amazon, I think last year. I like these hangers because they're velvet and they stick. Look at how they're sticking now. Just like that kind of clingier material, you know? So I have a lot of hangers left still. I think I bought a pack of 50. I'm gonna put these up here. I also haven't washed my clothes in about a week because I have to have somebody come take me to do my laundry. Cause look at me. Can't really do my laundry. So I have a full basket of clothes still waiting to be washed. So I feel like that will take up quite a few hangers here, but until then dear children, we will figure it out. You know what's crazy about doing this too? I'm looking at my stuff, my clothes, and I'm like, am I even going to wear these still? Wow, this has been a huge renovation. I feel like I needed to do this though because I just had so many clothes from years and for years and years that I developed an emotional attachment to. My focus is to get rid of just like attachments and learn how to achieve healthy attachments. Mm -hmm. I just want to keep the things that I know I wear every day and things that catch my eye. Because also I feel like when you have kind of a lot of things going on in your closet, it's hard to figure out what things go with what and how to match outfits because it's like overwhelmed by the amount of clothes that you have and most of them you don't even wear and then <laughs> it just turns into a big old mess. So I'm glad that I kind of downsized. So this is my closet as of right now. I'm still probably going to downsize just a little bit more because there are some things here that I feel like I imagined in my head going cute with, you know, some bottoms that I haven't worn in a long time and I had a vision in my head so I just kept it, but I can still see myself getting rid of a few things here that I don't wear. A lot of things that were in my closet as well didn't fit me anymore. I used to be a size zero and now I'm more of like a size two to four. So with that being said, these are all things that I know for a fact fit me. And again, I do have my full basket of laundry that needs to be washed and they will take up some more space. But for right now, I feel pretty, I feel pretty happy with my closet right now. Took a lot of things. Oh, oh my gosh, ow, that fucking hurt it. I took things out of this top shelf here. I had a huge box just full of clutter. Things that I don't ever look at and to be honest after being in a year in quarantine things just start to become an eyesore and so i decluttered that entire box i moved all my particulars <laughs> into these bins here um through my throw my grandma actually made me this ooh, throw here so i just you know folded it up here put my scarf here i put my shoes here um and then i have my more boots and um seasonal uh shoes on the bottom i can't believe how much stuff i used to have in this closet it's kind of appalling this is going to be going here on this side of my closet until i need a ride <laughs> to donate well i think this is going to conclude this video i really hope you enjoyed it again this was a two-day uh, endurance run i woke up yesterday and today like okay alex you need to clean your shit and get it together and i did it That'll complete this video with the closet right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like this video, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever feels right.